how to draw Sputnik. First of all, start off with a circle and another circle next to it. And then you're going to draw a little circle in the same position on each circle, looking sideways. A little half moon for the nose, a little half moon for the mouth, offset. Then you're going to draw the head not quite going around the outside of the eye. Into the neck, slightly off centre. And then we're going to be looking at drawing the hat that Sputnik has. So it comes down like this, like a rather like a dog's ear, but it's got a bulge in it there. That's the side bit. And then again on the top, you're making like the glasses shape, the goggle shape on top. And then you're going to draw an ellipsis, sort of squash circle, to give him some goggles on top of his head. And add a little bit of detail on the side there. That's the little earpiece. And these little lines just show where the sewing is on Sputnik's helmet. Then you're going to give Sputnik a roll neck jumper. So it's just a little oblong shape with some lines like knitting. And his arm, just a bend. And just four fingers on the hand, because all cartoon figures only have four fingers. Check it out. If you think I'm wrong, look at Mickey Mouse and cartoon characters like that. Otherwise, the hands look odd. And there's the edge of the arm coming down with the other arm. Into the hand. Mm, yeah, that doesn't look right. I'm going to rub that out. Start that bit again. Start with the fingers. The fingers are going that way, so the hands are pointing at each other. And again, only four fingers. Not quite right, but we'll sort it out in a minute. And then the bottom of his jumper, which kind of hangs down at the back. And then he's got his kilt. So a kilt is just a rectangle on the bottom, much easier to do than trousers. Kilt is the skirt that Scottish people wear. And then we've got his little pouch along here. He's got a belt, like a utility belt. And if you just do two loops coming out of there and two inner loops, that's his scissors. And then he's got another little pouch there. I don't know what he keeps in that. It probably does say in the book. And then we're looking at his little skinny legs sticking out the bottom there. Like a cuff bit around the top of his socks. With some lines down and then his socks going into his shoes making sure that his feet are both pointing in the same kind of direction and there we've got the basic outline of Sputnik Drawing the straps on now for the rucksack. They go underneath his hand, remember, because his hand's on top. Just looping around his shoulder. And then the other side, looping around his shoulder. So he looks like he's holding onto them. And here's his backpack coming out much higher. Almost comes out from that earpiece of his head. You can only see one side of his rucksack. Um, we need a little bit of detail on the rucksack. Some pockets. Basically made up of blocky-like shapes. Make sure the handle extends into the rucksack. There's the side of it. We're making it look a bit 3D. There's some pockets on the side. Pocket underneath. Put some cuffs round his jumper sleeves the bit on the end of the jumper sleeve where it has sort of rib knitting and then he has a kind of swirly pattern on his jumper which is quite satisfying to do just doing lots of ease really lots of letter ease all along his jumper 
don't forget to do it down his sleeves as well quite a satisfying pattern to do and on the other sleeve as well Okay, so that's basically Sputnik, and now we're looking at the details. So the pattern on the kilt is a sort of tartan pattern, which is made up of squares, really, and squares within squares. And that's what pattern is on all Scottish kilts, but in different colours. So I don't know what colour Sputnik's is, because we only have black and white pictures of him. Adding a little bit more detail in here. Obviously, if I was to colour it in, each of these lines would be different colours, different shades. Right, now look at the eye. I'm going darker in with the eye there. And some little eyebrows. One's raised. And one, so he's sort of raising an eyebrow at something. And then we've got, this is how he's seeing himself. So we've got a mirror here. Not quite as round as I'd like it, but I'm just going to keep going with it. A circle or ellipsis within ellipsis. And don't forget the little triangle at the top because that's what holds it to the wall. And what does Sputnik see when he looks in the mirror? He sees a little dog. So start with a triangle for the dog's nose and then a line underneath. Don't forget we can see that side of the dog's face as well. And one eye, another eye, dog's neck. The dog's got some goggles on as well because even though he's seeing a dog in the in the mirror, he's got the he's got Sputnik's flying helmet on. And there's the dog's ear sticking out and the bottom of the dog's face there, just to make it look as if the dog's got a mouth. Shade the ear in. Now when you're doing dogs, it's always good to give them a big black shiny nose. And some of those little dots where the whiskers come out of. And that's what Sputnik's seeing when he looks in the mirror. So that's how to draw Sputnik. Replay the video. Have a go yourself. Pause it if you get it wrong. Rub it out. See if you can draw something that looks a bit like Sputnik too. He's really fun to draw.